everybody, Simon again. So this is Bangkok Chronicles number seven. And what I've decided to do, I'm gonna do a separate video and put up in the next day or two of how, the story of me and the wife, how we met, dated, married, visas and all the rest of it. I'll put a separate video up as I said, and then, but she will be in the Bangkok Chronicles as well with me and the story. Just in case you don't want to watch that one, you can follow the story through this. So last time we were talking about, again, I'm in Chinatown, I'm making a lot of money on purses, handbags and this sort of thing. And we touched on sunglasses. Today, I'm going to move up the road, carry on on to the top of Yawarat Road to where the canal is, the little bridge over the canal. And shortly, I'll drop onto an interactive map with you and show you that. Now this, I was always into computers. Wasn't so much into the consoles, the um, Playstations and Xboxes and things. But a friend of mine was really into helicopters, remote control helicopters. And another friend of mine was into cars, remote control cars. And they'd both mentioned to me that spare parts they had to import from China and they cost a fortune. And was there any way I could have a look around for these bits? And they gave me a list of uh, bits they wanted. Now, I went up and down this Yawara Road so many times and I never saw the secret entrance to this one zone. When I found it and got in there, I was amazed. Now, the laws I mentioned on the map about the Playstations and Xboxes of the day, and this is back when we were talking Playstation 2s. You could chip your Playstations so that you could play copy games, but the law stated if you had the original game you could have a copy game as a backup, and that's how they got around the laws and things. I wasn't really interested in buying copy games because again it's counterfeit but all these hidden shops under here they had thousands of these copy games but they also sold all the chips so you could chip your playstations with instructions in a little pack they also had really good prices on memory cards um, as well blank discs also and when I got into this zone I started buying these bits and pieces the PlayStation chips especially I bought a few there was different models slightly but I bought a few and I tried them on eBay and they sold very quickly really well competitors were selling them at about 24 pound at the time and I went straight in at 20 pound they were costing me six pound so those started moving really well um, there was all, all electrical bits and pieces to do with computers, consoles down there. But as I went along the zone, then there was an area of all these different um, board games and different pieces. It was something I wasn't into, the toys for the kids, these different characters and things. I didn't understand it and I kept off that one. But then further along, all the remote control stuff and it was just it was fate <laughs> all the cars helicopters all the bits so on a second visit took all the paperwork from my friends handed them over to a couple of the people and yet they had everything I had all the prices my friends were paying from China with the shipping and it was about 70% cheaper by the time I shipped them my friends would say 50% at least so after us communications, they're friends. So I bought all that stuff, shipped it all. They just paid costs. I didn't make a profit on my friends. You don't do that. But I said to them, if they've got other friends in their clubs and things who want these parts, then okay, I'll do that. And they can put a profit on for me and they can have a bit of a profit as well. And I did a few parcels for their friends, but not a huge market, but the consoles, that was gonna be a daily visit for me for months. 
I was, my days were turning into <laughs> a walk breakfast in the morning in the Pratanam, uh, a wander around over to the other side of town to Chinatown and then it was pick up some handbags, pick up some purses, pick up some sunglasses, console, bits and pieces. It was like shopping every day. And, uh, but I couldn't gamble with buying loads of each item because the market on eBay was changing so, so rapidly. But because I was going every day, I was getting to know all the store holders and I was asking them questions of other stuff and they were pointing me in many other different directions. So right, now I'm going to drop onto the interactive map. We'll put that in here. Have a look at this. So now I've dropped onto the maps, onto the computer, to show you about of the areas which uh, I was mainly buying and selling in. And this is Chinatown. Now this interactive map, you can actually go onto my website, landersmilesthailand.com, Go along to the YouTube, the menu at the top to where it says YouTube. Highlight YouTube and the drop down menu will come and you can get this map in there on the interactive map. And you can actually interact with it. And it will show you on the left here all the markets and where I'm getting the different items from. And this whole map, if I zoom out, there's Bangkok. And it gives you an idea this top part here, if you can see the mouse, hopefully, is my, where my condo was in Prasnam Market. Over to the right here, that is Nana Plaza Soy Cowboy. And then here is the main centre of Bangkok where the MBK, uh, Siam Square, Paragon, all the shopping centres. Just below this here is Pat Pong Night Market and Salom and the Pat Pong Entertainment Zone and over here is Chinatown now from one side of Chinatown right across to Cowboy is about seven kilometers and about three kilometers so I was working mainly in that seven by three so 20 square kilometers <laughs> which is a lot that's a big and you've got to get around but we'll talk about more of that in other episodes but that is the interactive map and the main road coming into Chinatown is the Yawarad Road here and everything as I zoom in you can see this is the main road running right up the middle here all the different areas watches consoles handbags everything food zones mobile phones it's all there and you can zoom in and point as I said and look on the left hand side there's all your information now if I come off there and go onto Google Maps this might make it a bit easier for you the road here running down that is the Yawarat Road the central road of Chinatown and today I'm talking on the subject after I'd done all the handbags and wallets and purses, I was looking for other goods. And this was a find that I absolutely loved finding. It was like a secret passageway. But this area here, right next to the Klong, the canal, um, is where you will find the Sony PlayStation, Xbox console games and again legally you can chip your own PlayStation uh, and Xbox and then you can buy discs uh, with the game latest games on providing you own the original copy you're allowed to buy backup discs and this is how they got around chipping the machines so people could use discs then instead of the cartridges and things but now with the later PlayStations and Xboxes, it's downloads or, or disc anyway. But this area is where you got it. And this little square here, it's, well, rectangle. This is where the market, underground, hidden, 
zone is and at the top end is remote control equipment so we'll talk about that in a minute let me show you when you walk up the Yawarat Road and come up to the first canal there's a bridge here a little bridge there's a hidden entrance and at the other end is another hidden entrance and if I go to the street view so let me spin it round I hope this isn't too jerky for you that down there is central Bangkok and you come up the Yawarat Road this is Chinatown Main Road and you can see the type of shops and side streets and stalls all the way along ATM machines and then you come to that little bridge now it doesn't look much the little bridge but there's a canal under this bridge and much to my amazement when I walked up here the pavement drops a couple of steps down here and the first few times I walked up here I completely missed this but between this building and this building here is the canal and it runs along about 500 meters down there below the pavement below the uh, curb is a couple of steps down there's a secret entrance in there you go inside and then you're in the zone if I just move onto the bridge a bit more you can see between the buildings all the roofs here now this is a canal running under along here Klong, and they've built over it probably illegally of course but there is a load of shops hidden under there and I couldn't find any photos but if I come back down and we'll, we'll go down this road here so there's your entrance there secret entrance and you come down this side street and from memory again I'm sorry if it's a bit jerky but just about halfway along here in between a couple of these shops somewhere is a little alleyway another secret entrance um, and it's it's hidden it's like down the side of one of these little shops is another entrance into that but you can go to the other end which is along this road onto the next main road it's a bit of a one-way system but if I now spin the camera around that's the traffic coming towards you and then down there under the pavement again is down here is the entrance this end and you can see all the roofs again so that whole area is hidden and so hard to find but once you've found it it's uh, it's amazing let's look over the tops there you go you can see down all the roofs now this is over a canal but look at these roof structures are metal and they've even got air conditioned units on <laughs> and under there somewhere is the canal <laughs> oh excellent area Anyway, let's drop back on off the computer now. Now we're back. Now you've seen that. As I said, you can get that map on the website and you can have a look around yourself. I will add more to the map. Um, and I'll, I'll try and get as much as I can. And it's all learning curve for me, this map things on the PC. How you get it into the video. But that showed you the sort of street views and things of what I was walking around. And every one of those little shops in the little roads and the side roads were selling different products. There was a lot of industrial stuff around that area. It was food carts and all the cooking machines and things for people and the, the heated grills for making pancakes. So it was a really busy area. But I naturally had gone up that road, Yawarat Road, and then along through the console market. And that then took me into what I would say is my favorite part and that is all the watch section and all the other parts we'll come on to that um, on another separate video by the way anyway through these series if you've got any questions about certain products prices and things drop comments below this was 14 13 years ago something like that some of the markets have been demolished yes I know but those people would have moved you will be able to track them down again. 
prices I'm still pretty clued up on prices on all the stuff um, for purchasing and selling but any questions drop below and if, if there's anything you want to see specifically in Bangkok that I might know about again pop down below so there we go another one with a little interaction on the map hope you like that let me know what you thought of the maps and if there's anything you want on the maps as well and I'll as I say I'll do a separate video on the wife watch out for that one and I'll catch you soon thanks for watching oh please share thumbs up need the thumbs up apparently share and like subscribe if you haven't subscribed it's free and as I'm starting to do less videos make sure you hit that little bell button next to the subscribe box it's all free it just gives you uh, a notification when I upload a video great to see you see you soon bye bye